The person that I guess took charge of that process is my boss, Don Lowe Wistriston. Mm -hmm. So Don was the one that took on that charge, but definitely um, looped me in to assist with that. So uh, part of that was um, emailing people and trying to make sure we talk to the right stakeholders with that process to make sure that it would be something that each division could be comfortable doing. Um, and just explaining, what, and that includes explaining what it is, uh, the purpose of it, and then what we would need from people in order to make sure that that's actually represented. So uh, part of that was, in, was uh, I created a guide for faculty and instructors, as well as the AA4s, which are administrative assistants in the divisions. They're the ones that are actually gathering all that information from faculty and instructors to label the courses in the class schedule. So yeah, and so making sure everyone has the resources in order to label their courses effectively, uh, and I guess, you know, making sure that they have the right label. And so that tool, I think the SBCTC, the tools that Bo Young and other folks created from the SBCTC have been really helpful for that. So that was good. Uh, like the, I, I think there's that interactive tool where you can kind yeah. of go through and answer questions. So I think that's been helpful. Um, and then part of that, um, heading that kind of project, I guess, at Shoreline, uh, making sure that we are actually in compliance with that is um, being there to answer questions as they come up. So typically they'll either reach out to Don or myself if they have a question about, is my course this, is my course this? If it's this way, does it mean it's this way? So that's kind of what we are trying to do. And basically I just refer to those materials, uh, especially the more in-depth uh, guide for, for labeling those courses. And I just make sure that we're correct. But yeah, so far, uh, we don't, we aren't getting as many questions anymore. So it seems like it's become a more streamlined process, which is great, but definitely at the beginning, we had a lot of questions. And I think, um, I think part of this was also linked in with the faculty training, the OER training that I provided uh, along. I'm also co-facilitating that with uh, Justin Baggett in our e-learning department. So we are co-facilitating that, which is great. I love being in partnership with e-learning. Um, so part of that was also uh, if folks could actually adapt an OER as part of that institute, it would then allow their course to be labeled as OER. So that was part of the uh, motivation for folks to actually adapt or create an OER as part of that institute is to say, hey, you can now label your courses, you know, no cost or no textbook to purchase free 